Hey team, and welcome to this one dumbbell 30 minute workout to build strength and muscle across your back, suitable for all levels using just one dumbbell. Of course, if you have a range of weights, and that would be awesome, but I'm gonna show you how to use just one dumbbell if that's all you have. I have an eight kilogram, so comment underneath and let me know what weight you're using. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's take it into a warm up. Starting in a cat and cow, hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips, and rolling it up nice and high. And then with your breath, drop your belly, elevate your chest, getting some movement through our spine, our back, in a nice cat and cow. So 30 seconds on six warm up exercises. And from here, step up one side into a climber stretch. Release the same arm on this side and rotate. From the top, back down to the bottom, dropping your elbow and rotating in your torso. Opening up those hip flexors and the shoulders and chest. And then step back and switch to the other side. Taking nice deep breaths as we warm up and activate the body. Okay, come down into a plank position on your forearms and elbows, and we're gonna take it up into a lateral raise. So from here, bring your legs a little bit wider than normal, lift up into a lateral raise, arm back down, and switch. Lifting that elbow up, squeezing your back, keeping your core engaged, legs long, full body warm up, ready for this workout. Lift up into a high plank, and from here, you can either stay here if you like, or drop the knees, or take it into a shoulder tap. With the opposite hand, lifting up and touching the shoulder as your hips stay square facing the floor. Spread your fingers on the floor. We are engaging, activating, warming up that shoulder joint. This is gonna be doing a lot of work today. Final 30 seconds in a lower back raise. Lay down on your front, bring your hands behind you. Lift your chest, squeeze your lower back, shoulder blades together and glutes. Release down with your breath and lift again. Squeeze, contract, shoulders back. 10 more seconds. Okay, good. Hopefully those muscles are nice and warmed up for you. I'm gonna switch the timer to 40 seconds on each exercise to start the first section. We're just gonna come into, grab your dumbbell, into a single arm row, okay? First version, we can start with just feet a bit wider than hip width apart, tilting forwards from the hips, bending the knees. This hand can just hold on to your thigh to support yourself. From here, we're gonna row up into the belly in a single arm row. Get ready in three, two, one. Off you go. So, single arm row, one arm at a time. Fully extend this arm, nice and straight, and then lifting the elbow up to the side of your body, nice and narrow. Then pull the shoulder back and squeeze across the back muscles halfway. Focus on a long spine, push your hips backwards. Throughout a lot of this bent forward position today, we are working the legs, the glutes, the core and the lower back. We're gonna switch straight into the other side. Now, place it down and switch. 
straight to the other arm. Let's go. So it's really important that we have good posture in the lower back, elevate through the spine, the chest up, and those legs and glutes are playing a big role in building a strong foundation so you don't get a sore lower back here. If at any point you do, then adjust your technique or take a break and come back in or make it easier. We're gonna take it straight into a high plank position after this. Off you go, back down into this high plank. From here, core strong, lift one arm up, complete a big circle, nice and slowly, squeeze the back, place the hand down and switch. This is like your bit of active recovery in the dumbbell work for 40 seconds as well. And we're gonna do that section we just did three times. Keep your hips down in line with your body, 10 seconds. And then we're gonna start again in the single arm row. In three, two, one. Back up we come, grab the dumbbell. Back into the single arm row, let's go. Another option, you can try like a lunge type single arm row pos position like this. If you wanna try this version, you can. Slight variations in the core, the legs, but if you prefer it, you can do it. Or if you have your hand to place on a bench or a chair, you can try that one as well. Get ready to switch arms in two, one, and switch. Get that pause at the top, squeeze, contract, and release. We're gonna get a lot of volume, a lot of reps done in this bent over position today with whichever weight you have, but every rep counts. Get a nice length in here, stretch behind the shoulders and then lift up. So the shoulders are coming forwards and backwards. Get ready to take into that high plank arm circle in three, two, one. Good, down you come. High plank, if you need to just hold it here, that's fine. Or if you need the rest between the sets, you can drop the knees, recover. Otherwise, take it into that arm circle. Pulling the shoulder backwards, opening up the chest. This workout is fantastic for building better posture, putting the shoulders back, rebalancing all of the postures we have when we're sitting down, using our phone, driving at the laptop. Five seconds before the final set. Up you come, grab your dumbbell. Let's do it one more time, then we can rest. Here we go. Don't forget that good posture and technique of long spine, straight back. Try to get some space between your shoulders and your ears. You're not just lifting straight up like this, but you're lifting back. So there's lots of space here rather than up here. Keep going, seven seconds. And switch on, off you go. Keep going, halfway. Even if your hand is on your thigh here, make sure your hips are square, your core is still engaged and working. Five seconds. And down we come, last time into that high plank, arm circle.
pull the shoulders back, open up. It's a nice stretch as well between sets of working the back. 10 seconds and then we get to rest. Okay, 40 seconds rest, well done, before we move into the next exercise, the reverse fly, okay? Gonna grab our dumbbell, same position, so enjoy standing up now because we're gonna go back into that bent over row position. And this time, we're gonna lift out to the side in a lateral raise or a rear fly. Okay, get ready. Six, five. We are taking it into that rear fly. Here we go, 40 seconds each. From here, lifting out to the side, controlling back in. Squeeze the shoulder blades across the back together. Elbow up high, palms facing downwards. Thinking about everything I said in the last sets with good posture in the back, spine, and space between your shoulders and your ears. Building strength in the shoulders as well as the back across those rear delts, upper back muscles. Switch arm in two, one, and switch straight away, let's go. If you are struggling in the bent over position, if you wanna have a rest, you can and come back into it, or if you'd prefer to do some lateral raises for the shoulders, then you can, up to you. Don't push past any really bad pain in your lower back, but you do wanna get strong enough to stay in this position with good technique. Okay, dumbbell down. Let's take it back onto the ground. Same structure as the last section in a W raise now. Lay on your front, arms at a W shape, chin down, lift the chest, lift the arms. Squeeze and release and repeat. Shoulders back and down, hands up, elbows up. Squeeze the mid back together. Five seconds and we start again. Okay, up you come. Back into the rear fly. First arm, off you go. So that body weight exercise on the floor, it's a good chance to rest and also rebalance this bent over position with some opposite or opposite position in the body, and then back down, here we come. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, switch, other arm, let's go. Halfway. If you need to rest, remember, you can. Breathe, keep going when you're ready. 10 seconds. Going back down to the ground in the W raise. Down we go. If you are struggling, you can use this as a rest period. If you're ready for more work, then up you come. So 
squeeze the glutes, supporting the lower back. Ten seconds, and then let's do it for one more set. Okay, let's go one more time. Back up, and then we get to rest. Here we go, rear fly. If you're struggling in the bent over position, you could try one fly, stand, down, good rep, and stand, if you like. Always listen to your body, see what, what's the best thing for you today. Two, one, and switch. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Final time, the W raise. Back down we go. Drive those elbows back and down your back. Keep going, five seconds. And rest. Well done, okay, enjoy your 40 seconds rest before the next section. I'm gonna change the timer to 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, and two different exercises. We are going to come up into another bent over row, but this time it's gonna be basically half the weight because we're gonna use both arms. We're gonna tilt forwards, bend the knees. I'm gonna take a bent over row in this position as exercise one. Then exercise two, we're gonna come into an alternate renegade row, one arm, lifts and squeezes, and then switch arm. Okay, let's get ready for the bent over row. In three, two, one, off you go. Hold on with both hands, and we are in bent over row. So, slightly different technique with both hands. Both arms are long, pull all the way into the belly as the elbows and shoulders pull back, squeeze your back muscles together. Still focusing on the long spine, the elevated chest, making sure there is no lower back curving in an unsafe way. Get ready for your rest in two, one. 20 seconds rest, enjoy it. Down we come into the alternate arm Renegade row. So you start in the high plank position. We wanna focus on keeping our hips down in line with our body, not too high like this. Get ready. Hold on to the dumbbell, lift up, squeeze the back, release and switch. Off you go. Really good work for the entire body here, building strength in not just our back, but our core, shoulders and legs, halfway. As you lift the elbow up, think about lifting up and around, squeezing the back. 10 seconds. Two, 
One. 20 seconds rest. So those two exercises, let's do it again for three sets. Starting in the bent over row with both arms. Here we go. Tilt forwards, long spine and lift. Get that pause in the belly. Lots of space between your shoulders and ears. Shoulders back. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest there. Get ready for the alternate renegade row. Okay, high plank position in three, two, one. Here we go, one arm, squeeze, and release and switch. If you're struggling here, do you have the option of maybe doing this without the dumbbell, if you like. Just a high plank, renegade row with no weight if you need. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Another option is maybe trying that on your knees if you're struggling. Let's do that one more time. Get ready for the bent over row. In three, two, one. Let's go. Now, if you're using just one dumbbell at home with one weight, then you might find exercises like this a bit light which is why it's really important to get that time under tension, always keeping it contracted, and also having the mind to muscle connection, squeezing and holding in the peak contraction. That's going to increase the intensity, even with the light weight. And rest for 20 before the renegade row. We can still build lots of muscle with light weight, if you do the right workouts, you put in the intensity and good technique, and you're consistent in showing up. Get ready, last time in this exercise. Let's go. Like I said before, Knees down version, always there, halfway. Ten seconds. Well done. Twenty seconds rest, and we are moving into the final section of the day. So, back to that bent over row, but we're gonna stand after every rep. So, tilt forwards, row, extend, and stand. Not just to rest, but to work on that extension. Let's go, tilt forwards, row, squeeze, release, and stand. Stand really safely with good technique. It's all about that hip hinge and hip thrust forwards. We're working glute strength, hamstrings, and lower back. Don't rush it, don't snap it too hard. It's all about just 
keeping under tension with good technique. Two, one, rest. Okay, alternate gorilla row. Let's take the legs a little bit wider, back to that first single arm row that we did. You're gonna row in. When you come back here, just lift and catch. Squeeze again, other side. Lift and catch. Are you ready? Give it a go. Let's go, 40 seconds. Make sure the legs are working. Full body exercise to make sure we are supporting the lower back in this position. Pull the belly in, drive those elbows up and back. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And rest with 20. Okay, so now we know what we're doing to the end of this workout. Two more sets of those two exercises and we're done. Get ready for the bent over row and stand. Let's go. Tilt forwards, bent over row, squeeze and stand. Don't get complacent at the end, always focusing on safe, effective technique, especially when you're standing. Make sure the legs, the glutes are initiating the movement, not your lower back. 20 seconds rest. Get ready for the alternate arm gorilla row. Are you ready? Here we go. Grab your dumbbell and row. Catch, switch. I told you there'd be lots of reps, high volume in this row position to get those big back muscles working. Five, four. Well done, rest there. Okay, for the third set, finisher, because there's nothing after this, you can either carry on doing that, 40 and 20, or take on the challenge with me, 60 seconds each. If you want to go for it, bring it on. If you want to stay with 40, 20, that's fine. Are you ready? 60 seconds each. Last set, best set, here we go. Row, stand. Keep it going. How much work can you get done to finish this workout? If you're going for 40 seconds, that's now. You can rest if you need to. Otherwise, stay with me to the full 60. Squeeze at the top. Almost there. Five seconds before the gorilla row. Two, one. Off you go. 
switch and lift. Final 60 seconds of the workout. Lift it nice and strong, elbow high, shoulders back. Keep the dumbbell nice and tight to your body, under your legs, not out in front. If you're going for 40 seconds, you are done. Otherwise, stay with me, 20 seconds. So close. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest there. Huge back pump. <laughs> awesome work, well done. You can move the dumbbell to the side. That is the workout complete. But let's just stay here for three minutes in a stretch. Okay, come down with me, get your breath back. Let's take it into a child's pose. Open up your knees, feet together, arms out in front. Sit back. You can drop your head on the floor if you like. Lengthen through your back, your arms, and rest. You should feel the tightness, the soreness, with those big back muscles all the way from under the shoulders all the way through your back. Stay there and just bring your arms over to one side and stay in that position. You will feel an increase of stretch down one side of your body. Take deep breaths. Start relaxing your body, bringing the heart rate down, the breathing rate down. Stay there and just bring your arms over to the other side, same thing. Follow what feels good. Follow what you think you need to lengthen and stretch. Come up to all fours and let's take it into a cat stretch. From this all fours position, tuck your chin into your chest and roll your spine up. Relax your head, pull your belly in, lengthen all the way through the spine. And final minute, we're gonna take it into shoulder stretch. Bring one arm across your body, pull that arm in, and reach across. Drop the shoulders down, lengthen this arm. You should feel a nice stretch across the shoulders and upper back, which we have worked a lot today. Hopefully you can feel it. And same on the other side. Okay, well done, shake it off. Workout and stretch complete. Well done for joining me for this one dumbbell 30 minute back workout. It was intense, 
I can feel it working, hopefully you can too. Make sure you drop some comments underneath to let me know how that workout went for you. And be consistent, keep coming back, keep showing up and you'll get the results, okay? Well done, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.